this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your fingerprint on the Moto Z. So the Moto Z is a very simple way to set up your fingerprint, and that's this little sensor right here. This is not a home button, it's just a fingerprint sensor. So important to note that. So first thing you're going to do is go into settings, and then you're going to go to security. Once we're in security, we're just going to tap fingerprint and then we're going to start to register our fingerprint. Now you do have to set up a screen lock uh, when doing this, so as a backup basically. So we'll just do our super secret pin that we have done before, and that is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't tell anyone. All right, and then we're going to have to show all the notifications, and we're just going to go over it. next so then you're just going to tap it slightly and keep going back and forth on it so what I like to do with uh, fingerprint scanners and of course you can do this as you want but I like to do the top half of my fingerprint and then I do the bottom half so right now I just did this portion and I'm going to do this portion just so that my entire fingerprint is registered on there and I like to do this because I never have to look or think about my fingerprint then no matter which way I tap it it is then going to be on there so you can have it set we'll just have it lock automatically as I push the power button so I can just go like this and now oh I have to ena enable this first so let's go right there and now there you go so quick and easy just to be able to do it and it really is super fast I have to give it to Motorola for having a very fast fingerprint I don't even have to tap it for a second so really nice by the way you do not have to push down there is not a button here so you don't have to do that and you can push to unlock it and lock it that's one thing that's kind of actually cool so now it's locked with my fingerprint and now it's unlocked with my fingerprint Pretty simple and easy to do, but just like to walk you guys through that. So I would do it for uh, your thumb twice on this side and twice on this side. That way you always have access, or of course your index finger if you want. With the index finger, you can you only have to do it once. Uh, it's not as sensitive as it is for uh, the thumb. The thumb is just bigger, so typically you want to do it twice. That's my opinion. Let me know what is your experience with the fingerprint reader. If you've liked it or if you feel it's not up to your standards, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.